Do you ever love to up your lighting for only $20? So I mostly shoot with natural light. I am lucky in the fact that I have a giant window right there and a big window right behind the camera. So as long as I'm shooting at midday in pretty good lighting, like if it's pretty bright outside, I don't really need a bunch of artificial light. But sometimes I do need to like fill in the shadows on my face and stuff without pushing up the entire image. And that's where this thing comes in handy, the Yulanzi VL39. So this is a tiny little cube with a light attached to it, as you can see. Uh, there's really not much to it. Super lightweight, it feels pretty cheap, it's just made out of plastic. And as you can see, mine didn't come with a diffuser, so <laughs> I made my own diffuser out of tissues and scotch tape. On the sides of the cube, you have three different like cleared shoe mounting spots, so you can slide in anything from a microphone, that's what I do. Usually when I'm shooting with this, I have my microphone attached to the side of it. Um, otherwise, you can actually just chain together with mirror lights. The mount here, you just twist and it like locks into place. And then beyond that, you have a couple of buttons on the back. You have the on and off switch, that should be pretty obvious. And then you have the up and down arrows and that decreases or increases the brightness across five brightness levels. And then you have the M button, this just switches to show you the battery percentage that you have left. As far as battery life and charging goes, um, it really depends on the brightness that you have it at. If you have it at maximum, which is pretty uncomfortable, actually like blinding to look at. If you have it on max, it dies pretty quick. I think like about an hour and a half from my experience. I usually use it on Levy's 3 and it lasts for about three to three and a half hours. Uh, then it does die, however. It does just have a USB-C port, so you can just easily plug it in with the same charger you'd use for your phone or your camera and it charges up usually in less than an hour from what I've noticed. Now when it comes to the actual lights like part itself, like I said there are five different options. You can see me cycling through them here. Five, two, three, two, and then the end. Uh, they provide pretty a pretty good degree of different brightness depending on your needs. I usually keep it at about three. I shoot most of my videos in my office here with my camera at about arm's length. I'm touching the lens right now. And I find 3 with my <laughs> DIY diffuser to just add a very nice like soft light onto my face. On the screen here, I put a little clip of me going into the darkest room in my house. It's a, it's a tiny little like closet kind of space that has just a tiny little window. And I'll show you the five different light levels in that room. So did I recommend this light? Absolutely yes. So I have a tiny apartment. I'm not allowed to hang anything up or anything like that. And I just simply don't have the space to, you know, put up a bunch of light stands and like, you know, put them away when I'm not using them. I use my office, my little like second bedroom here for a lot of other things, like a lot of other business adventures besides just YouTube. So I just do not have the space to put up a bunch of big lights. And this thing really does the job at getting me like decent lighting and without, you know, adding anything to the room. Like I just put this thing on top of the camera and it just looks amazing just like that. So yeah, if this sounds like something you guys would like, um, I'll leave an affiliate link in the description. Obviously I do get a tiny, tiny commission off that. Um, so thanks in advance if you buy it. But yeah, that sums up this video. If this helped you, feel free to drop a like and even subscribe. Thank you so much guys and have a great day.